So let's start with the very basics. What is high blood pressure? So the blood coursing through your body, being pumped around by your heart, uh, achieves a certain pressure within your blood vessels, meaning that if one of those blood vessels were to be cut, the blood would come out at a certain pressure. That pressure is determined by how often your heart beats, how forcefully your heart beats, and how much resistance your blood vessels give back to the heart, how, how hard the muscles around those blood vessels are squeezing. Now, you measure blood pressure using a blood pressure cuff, and in the next video, we're gonna go into a lot of detail about exactly how that's done. But when you use a blood pressure cuff, you get two numbers. The top number is the systolic blood pressure, and the bottom number is the diastolic blood pressure. And basically what those mean, the top number, the systolic, is the blood pressure right after your heart contracts. So when a wave of blood comes out of your heart into the arteries of your body, that's the systolic blood pressure. Between heartbeats, while your heart is relaxing, that's the diastolic blood pressure. Okay, and either one or both of those numbers can be high. So what's normal and what's not normal? Well. A normal blood pressure is a systolic top blood pressure number less than 120 and a diastolic blood pressure on the bottom of less than 80. So if the, your blood pressure is less than 120 on the top and less than 80 on the bottom, that's normal. Now, elevated blood pressure occurs, so not quite hypertension, but elevated kind of in the pre-hypertension range occurs when the top number is between 120 and 129 but the bottom number is still less than 80, okay? So that's elevated blood pressure, and that's sort of an early warning sign that you are at risk of developing blood pressure later on. When you get higher than that, you are in the hypertension range, and hypertension is divided into two stages. Stage one hypertension is a systolic blood pressure between 130 and 139, and a or a diastolic blood pressure on the bottom between 80 and 89. So if your top number is between 130 to 139 on average when you check it, or the bottom number is between 80 and 89 when you check it, you have stage one hypertension. The next stage is stage two hypertension, and that happens when the top number is above 140 or the bottom number is above 90. Okay, and, and by the way, you, whatever you know, tier you're in, the highest tier you're in is the tier you have, right? So if your top number is in the stage one range, but your bottom number is in the stage two range, you have stage two hypertension. So meaning that a diastolic or bottom number greater than 90, regardless of what the top number is, is stage two hypertension. So those are the four stages. Normal, less than one chenny, and less than 80. Uh, elevated blood pressure, which is 120 to 129 on the top and less than 80 on the bottom, stage one hypertension, which is 130 to 139 on the top, over 80 to 89 on the bottom, you can have either of those in that stage one hypertension, and then stage two, which is 140 or higher on the top or 90 or higher on the bottom. So now that you know about the ranges, we're gonna talk about how to check your blood pressure so that you know which range you fall into.